What's up guys? Welcome back to Rugged Adventures. What we have here is a fire helmet. It is, uh, you can find uh, heroes all over America using these things, running into burning buildings uh, pretty much every single day. There's a bunch of different styles of these. Uh, this is the traditional style fire helmet. And these, this is a, an expired one. These things do have a lifetime on them, like a, uh, like a car seat or whatever. And this one is made of polycarbonate. There's really two different types of, uh, of traditional fire helmets. There's leather and then there's these polycarbonate plastic ones. And there are religious fanatics on both sides of the camp for that. But the thing is, is that no matter which one you have, these things are are incredibly durable. You can take them in a fire, they'll protect you from getting hit on the head with stuff. But the thing that I think that almost everyone out there is asking is how bulletproof are these things? So today we're gonna to take a look at how bulletproof these are. I have several different calibers that we are going to shoot at. I have a 22 long rifle, I have 40 cal, uh, out of a uh, Glock 23, uh, we have the uh, the typical AR-15, and then we also brought along the 6.5 Creedmoor, and we are going to see how this holds up. Now, the thing is, I am sure that these things being not bulletproof, you know, for real, for not designed to deflect bullets, that we will... Uh, not be just shooting them straight on because I'm sure that'll shoot almost straight through So what I'm gonna do is try to shoot towards the side over here so that it ricochets off the side And just see if this if this helmet will at least deflect the bullet as it comes towards it But first we're gonna fix that flag in the background. That is uh, all you know boogered up in the tree there All right guys, we got her flying back the way that she should be Proud in the wind there. So let's see what we're dealing with today. So today, like I said, we have, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five guns here. We have the uh, 12 gauge shotgun, which I don't think that I mentioned before. Um, that's gonna be first, cause I think that's probably gonna, we're just gonna use standard, uh, just target loads with that. So you can get it at any Walmart. Then the Ruger uh, Mark IV and 22. Uh, then the Glock 23, that's a 40 caliber subcompact. It's something similar to what uh, local law enforcement might use. That's, uh, they say it's subcompact, doesn't seem to be that uh, subcompact. This is an Anderson Arms uh, AR-15 and a uh, Savage Axis II uh, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Now, pretty much all of these are, uh, you know, other than the shotgun, we're just going to use full metal jackets. Uh, nothing special with the uh, ammunition. And like I said, we are going to try to hit these, other than with the shotgun, I'll probably shoot that straight on. We're going to try to see if, uh, essentially, a glancing blow, if it will uh, ricochet that off. And we'll, we'll go up until... Uh, you know, one of them goes through, and the lighting out here is pretty good today, so hopefully we'll get some good slow mos First up is this Mossberg 500. It is chambered in, uh, let's see, two and three quarter target loads, very similar to what you can get at any Walmart. As a matter of fact, that's probably where I bought them. Put my ears on here, and we will see if this, if this fire helmet can withstand a 12 gauge round. Like I said, we're about uh, 15, 16 yards away, and we'll see what kind of impact that has on it. So, here we go. Let's run down and take a look. Like I said, we took this one directly, you know, head on because I thought that this would be the least likely to, uh, to, to punch through. And there's a couple little pieces like uh, you can, there's a pellet embedded in there. But for the most part, it ricocheted all the stuff off the sides. No harm, no foul. The inside is good. And so, uh, you know, a fire helmet at relatively close range is uh, is pretty bulletproof to uh, 12 gauge. Next up, we have the uh, 22 long rifle out of the Ruger Mark IV. Again, you guys have seen this gun uh, several times on this channel, so um, it's it's been very reliable for us, and it's actually very accurate for a very small caliber uh, rimfire bullet. And if you guys want to see more guns, you want to see more awesome stuff, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to uh, hit that like button. That'll grow our revenue. That'll allow us to buy bigger and better firearms and accessories, and uh, we can grow this channel together. But for now, let's see if I can put a round on that helmet with the 22. Uh, like I said, a glancing blow type of thing. GoPro, start recording. Let's see if I hit with any one of those. So we certainly hit in the front. We must have hit just a little bit to the left. We hit right here in the front. And that one, that one there went completely through. 
but I believe this is a new hit and that ricocheted off. And I think I might've shot in the dirt for the other one. Let me uh, take a couple more shots at this and uh, see what kind of results I can get. Okay, so when I hit the uh, the helmet here on the right side with the 22 long rifle, uh, it looks like it cracked it, but it definitely uh, ricocheted the shots off. If we look here on the inside, you can see that nothing penetrated the inside other than these two that went straight through the front. So again, if you shoot it dead on, it's probably gonna go through. But a, uh, a uh, glancing blow, uh, not it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Next up is, uh, 40 caliber out of a Glock 23, if you guys can see that, made in Austria. This is, like I said, something that law enforcement yeah, oftentimes carries. Um, we'll see if this goes through the side or not, and it just depends on where I end up hitting it. But uh, let's get shooting because my camera here sitting in the sun is already starting to overheat, so that's awesome. GoPro, start recording. Forty cal, definitely going to go through this helmet. Uh, we have a bunch of different hits. There's one right here, and this probably would have been our best bet for a glancing blow and ricochet off. But you can tell it just sailed straight back and came out the back. We had one that was just, you know, front and center, and that just, that one just went straight into the helmet. So you would have been having a bad day there. And then I must have caught one here on the lip over there, and so that uh, that also didn't stop anything uh, i thought it might because like i said this is reinforced you know polycarbonate it's basically fiberglass so i thought it would have a pretty decent chance at uh, stopping these bullets but you know as you can see on the inside here it's just getting torn up pretty well there's something over there there's that one over there that uh where did that one even come from i don't even know where the entrance for that one is that might maybe right there but then the one that came uh straight through the front from the 40 cal is right there and that would have been uh instantaneous lights out pretty clear that uh 40 cal is just going to go straight through this so you know it's almost like what's the point to shoot it with 556 five, and what i want to try to do is i want to just see if i can just skim one off of the side to see if it would do anything because for the most part you'd be safe from target rounds from a uh, 12 gauge a uh, 22 can it can withstand with glancing blows but even straight on that's not going to work but if you guys have uh, taken a look at, I think Demolition Ranch did one with a army helmet, even that fared fairly poorly in a direct straight on shot. And I think that's the deal is even those are sort of designed to deflect rounds. And if you take one, you know, uh, perpendicular to the uh, to the helmet that it's probably going to go through. So I'm going to put a couple through this and then we will uh, then we'll send this helmet on its way. GoPro start recording. Let's take a look at what we found. So yeah, that didn't even slow it down whatsoever. You can see I tried to hit this side of the helmet and I tried to just barely nick it and hit around here. I don't know if that is a new one or not, but that has a pretty gnarly exit wound. Wherever that one came out, it had a pretty gnarly exit wound. But this is the one I want to show you guys the most. You get this little guy here, and it had to have been coming just very, very almost parallel to the helmet. And I don't think it changed trajectory whatsoever because this is the uh, the exit wound from this where that bullet is tumbling and expanding. And if you look at the bottom here, you know, it came in up in there and then just went through all of this, all of this foam and stuff and then back out the backside here and then somewhere into the woods. Um, 
I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, it, this is not going to deflect a, um, a, two, two, a two, two, three round whatsoever. So uh, there you have it for today, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below. Hit the like button. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Helps bring in more money to the channel. And the more money that we bring in, the more cool stuff that we can buy to shoot, that we can put on razors, that we can do off-road, uh, that we can uh, blow up or whatever. And like I said, again, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you on the next one.